do the, do the introduction. All right. This mm. next song, this is the second time I'm doing this uh, introduction. Huh? Hello, just come on in. Just, just come, come right in. in. Come on in. Do we have to do this? All right, this is the second time I'm doing it. I hate to do this uh, introduction twice. Mm -hmm. yeah. This, uh, the next song, oh yeah, well, this is off of the CD, which will probably never appear. Uh, the next song is a result of a rare bit of serendipity. Uh, it's not very well known, but destroying the illusion of spontaneity, I have to look at the camera. It's not very well known, but the same week that Israeli archaeologists discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls in Cave 63, while eating lunch right next door in Cave 64, an even more important discovery was literally stumbled on when one of the archaeologists, Chaim Pitts, went to the bathroom there, in, you know, in the corner there. Okay. And this was the first national anthem, also known as, quote, the hymn to nationalism. So with the help of Mel Brooks' 2,000-year-old man, the first line was easily made out. Then they got stuck. So they took the stone cuneiform yeah, yeah. manuscript to Harvard, where at the Center for Middle Eastern Studies, the rest of the canticle was painfully deciphered. And now here we're going to present it for the first recorded performance. <coughs> And this song that we want to dedicate to the Iranians and Iraqis, the Armenians and Azerbaijanis, the Turks and Greeks, Serbs and Croats, Hindus and Sikhs, Czechs and Slovaks, Jews and Arabs, Tamils, Sri Lankans, Tutsi and Hudu, the Dodgers and the Mets. And so on. It's our gang, you know. So here it is, and uh, on the recording, if it ever happens, we're going to have the original instruments, but here it's certainly in the chapel, a cappella. You're singing the first verse Yeah, alone. I sing the first line. The first verse. No. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Oh, let them all go to hell except Cave 64. If they give you any trouble, throw them through the door. This is our cave. It's the best in the world. We don't want no foreigners here. Our cave might get spoiled. No, we don't want no watch here. Our cave could get spoiled. Our cave is the best. The hell with the rest sing. We got the prettiest girls. They never fail the test. The H test. We got the greatest music. We got the bestest brains. Cause we always eat the cortex of the ones that we have slain. Yeah, we love to slurp gray matter from the ones that we have slain. Ruling comes natural to those that excel. The rest of you bastards, where well, you can go to hell. God gave us power and God made us right. And if you don't like it, we'll stab you in a fight. Yeah, if you don't like it, we'll kill you in the night. Hold together the grousing carnality. Let, let them all go to hell except Cave 64. If they give you any trouble, throw them through the door. This is a cave, it's the greatest in the world. We don't want no wogs here, our cave might get spoiled, no. We don't want no farms here, our cave would get spoiled. Time for your daily proverb. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth, a kiss for a kiss, and a hug for a hug. Mwah.